In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to play Angels We Have Heard on High in the key of G major. And in the key of G major, there is only one sharp, which is the F sharp. Okay. And so all of the other notes that you will be playing in the song will be on the natural white keys. Okay. The only black key that you will be playing is the F sharp. F sharp is the only sharp in the key of G major. Okay? So we have G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. Okay? So let's go ahead and play the entire song and then we're going to break it down piece by piece, one hand at a time, and then I'm going to teach you with both hands together. Let's begin. So in the left hand, you're going to play the chord. This, this is the very first chord that you're going to play. And so my hands are already in the position to play the G major chord. In my right hand, I'm going to play the B. Okay. So I'm playing G with my fifth finger, B with my third finger, and D with my first finger. Okay. In my right hand, I'm playing B with my third finger. And I'm going to play B along with the G major chord together. Okay. So as you're playing the song, you're actually going to play the B in your right hand three times. Angels we. Okay. Okay. And as I'm playing the B in my right hand three times, I'm only playing the chord in my left hand one time. So I'm going angels we. Okay. The next note that you're going to play is the D in your right hand. So Angels we have heard on high. Okay? Notice I have not played any chord along with the notes in my right hand. So the only chord that I'm going to play is at the very beginning with the B. Angels we have heard on high. So have heard, I'm playing the D twice. One, two, then I'm gonna play the C as a passing tone, so it's very quick. So you're playing have heard on high, okay? And you're gonna land on the B with your third finger. So let's try that again. Angels we have heard on high. And then we're going to play the chord again. Sweetly singing. Okay. This time you're going to play the B along with the chord again. Sweetly. Okay. This time you're only playing the B one time and you're going to go down to the A. Okay. Sweetly singing. Okay. Notice I went back up to the B and then I skipped the C 
and went up to the D. Sweetly singing or the plains. Okay, so as I am uh, playing the melody, I'm only playing the chord just a few times. I'm actually just playing the chord four times throughout the entire um, melody in the verse. So let's start from the beginning again. So we have angels we have heard on high, sweetly singing o'er the plains and the mountains in reply echoing their joyous strains okay so you've actually just learned the entire first verse of the song because the first verse is repeated twice now we go into the chorus Okay, so let's start with the first chord. We have the G major chord along with D in your right hand, and you're going to play them both at the same time. Okay, next you're going to play the E in your right hand with the E minor chord in your left hand. So you have fifth finger on the E, third finger on the G, first finger on the B. Okay? So we have glow. All right? The whole entire melody of that phrase is going to be E, D, C, B. And notice that I'm playing my fourth finger on the D when I begin to play the chorus of the song. So I'm playing fourth finger on the D and my my hands are in this position. So I have glow, oh, okay. Then we're going to continue, oh. So this is your next chord you have a, I'm sorry, you have E, A, and C. This is your A minor chord, second inversion. So I'm switching my fingerings from the fifth, third, and first finger to fifth, second, and first finger. Okay? And I'm keeping my same finger position in my right hand, so I'm only going up from the B to the C. So I'm going uh, glow, oh, 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 go up to the C, oh, okay. So let's try that one more time. Glow, oh, 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 oh. okay. Now we're gonna go down to the D major chord and we're gonna go up in, in the right hand to the D. Okay, so we're going from C to D. And you're playing D with your fifth finger, F sharp with your third finger, and A with your first finger. So we have So let's go ahead and finish that phrase out. So we have uh, D, C, B, A, okay? And notice that I have not done any finger crossings in my right hand yet, okay? Once I get down to the A, that's when I'm going to cross over eventually. But for right now, um, as I'm playing the D major, I'm not crossing any fingers yet, okay? So, let's try that one more time. So we have... Okay, 
Next we have the B, so we're going up from A to B. When we play the B, we're gonna play the G major chord in the left hand, second inversion. So this is D, G, and B. And I'm using my fifth finger, second finger, first finger. Okay, so we have Okay. Now we're going to go to the C. Okay. Now once you play the C, you're going to play the C with your third finger. Go down to the B, A, G. That's when you cross over the A. And you're gonna cross over the A with your second finger over the G. Okay? So you're gonna go, uh, glow. And you're playing the C major chord in your left hand. C, E, G. Fifth finger over the C. Third finger over the E. First finger over the G. Okay, so let's try that again. We have Now we're going to complete the last chord, which is the D major chord. Okay. So we have glow. Okay. Now in the right hand, I uh, once I crossed over from the A to the G, I'm gonna go back to the A with my third finger and end it with the D, playing the D twice. So I have glow, I'm sorry, uh, glow. 